Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another video, and today I'm going to show you how to farm a lot of lead and steel so that you can craft a ton of ammo in Fallout 76. But first things first, this video is focused more towards newer players, so if you've been playing the game for a while, you probably know all of this stuff already. So let's start off by going over a few things that aren't necessarily mandatory for this to work, but they're going to make what we're going to do infinitely more efficient. Starting off with the Excavator Power Armor, this is still in my eyes the best power armor in the game, it provides more than enough defense to do everything, and it provides 100 extra carrying capacity, and it makes makes you mine more ore, which is very important for getting a lead. And then we want to pick up some perk cards, those being Ammo Smith, which is an agility card that makes you craft more ammo, Super Duper, which is a luck card that gives you a chance to duplicate whatever you're crafting, and Scrapper, which is an intelligence card that gives you infinitely more resources when scrapping weapons and armor. Now I know this first point is kind of obvious, but you want to go into your pip boy junk, you want to switch into the component view, which on PC is defaulted to C, and you want to search for acid, lead, and steel, so that whenever you mouse over something in the world and it has acid, lead, or steel, it will be marked with a magnifying glass. However, if your bow doesn't have a lot of carrying capacity and you're not running pack rat or any other junk weight reduction, forget about steel and lead and just mark acid. Now why acid? Why is that important? Well, acid is what you use to smelt ore, and the best way to get large quantities quantities of lead is to smelt it from lead ore. And marking acid will help you get into the habit of picking up things that have acid, things like coolant, a braxo cleaner, and that kind of stuff. Now the good thing here is that you don't use that much acid when you're smelting ore. If for example you're smelting lead, you're using one unit of acid for every two lead ore and you're getting out five lead scrap. So I for example never have to farm acid because I got into the habit of picking up things that have acid which are luckily for the most part fairly light. And it's not like you have to go out of your way to pick this stuff up. If for example you're running through White Springs, there is some Abraxo cleaner at the end of the first line of houses on the left on the porch, and if you make it all the way to the parking lot, you can go into the building, which is a laundry room that has additional Abraxo cleaner. So it's just simple stuff like this that you will remember over time as you keep doing it. But what if you need a lot of acid and you need it now? Well, that's where the Hemlock Holes Maintenance Workshop comes in. This is the acid workshop because it has three acid deposits. So you simply take over the workshop, you build a generator you build three acid extractors and then you jump in every now and then to collect your acid. Though there's a good chance if you're playing on an adventure server that it's gonna be taken and you won't be able to get it because, well, it's just a really good way of passively getting acid. But at least you know why it's always taken now. It's also worth mentioning that certain enemies will drop a decent amount of acid as well and they are the Snuggaster, the Grafton Monster, a Cave Cricket and the Ogwai, so it's a good idea to shank them when you see them. Alright, so we got the acid and now let's go get some lead ore and we're gonna start off by going to the Hornwright testing site number 3. Now when you fast travel here you will see some ore in front of you but you want to ignore that because it's steel and you don't want to use your acid on smelting steel. Of course if you do have a large surplus of acid you might as well smelt it as well but what you want to do instead is turn around and run past the crane to pick up lead. Now this is one of the reasons why the excavator power armor is so good because you simply get more lead by mining the ore. You can still mine the ore even if you don't have the excavator power armor but you will get much less of it. So if for whatever reason you don't have the excavator power armor go and get it. Once you pick up all the lead at the Honrai testing site, which should only take you about a minute or so, you want to head over to the Lucky Hole Mine. This place now has a bunch of cultists running around instead of mole miners, so what you want to do is kill the cultists and loot all the melee weapons, all the ballistic weapons and all the steel and lead scrap, so things like buckets, torque rods, makeshift batteries and that kind of stuff, and you of course want to head into the mine. Once you're inside, you want to go through the entire mine, killing and looting cultists in the process, and you want to pay close attention to the walls, because this place is chock full of lead and some crystal shards. So go through the mine, pick up all the melee and ballistic weapons of the cultists and mine all the lead you see. You should get a decent amount of lead ore from this, from this run I managed to get 168. Plus I got a ton of weapons and some armor from the cultists. Now we're gonna process all the things we got, so we put on our perk cards which is scrapper and super duper and ammo smith if you want to craft ammo after this as well, we're gonna scrap all the weapons we got from the cultists, we're gonna scrap all the armor we got from the cultists and we're gonna smelt all the lead. Now since I got out most of the footage of me going around killing and looting cultists and mining lead, you're gonna have to trust me with the results here, so once it was all done we managed to get 551 lead from smelting the ore and we got 254 steel from scrapping the weapons. That, unless you're using a high powered minigun, should last you for a while. And finally we have steel, which is one of the most common resources in the game, but I personally farm large quantities of it in the West Tech Research Center. And it's because West Tech is just a really good farming spot, I mean the super mutants drop a ton of guns so you can get a lot of steel by scrapping them with scrapper, they drop caps, they drop 556 ammo, they are high level and give a ton of XP when you kill them and 
since there is a lot of them, there's a good chance you will run into a legendary as well. So go to West Tech, clear it out, which if you have a decent boat should only take you about 5-ish minutes, pick up all the melee and ballistic guns, and if you want more dead plastic, pick up the energy guns as well, equip the scrapper perk, scrap the guns, and you will get like 4 to 700 steel. And I haven't even mentioned the gunpowder yet, which the super mutants drop a decent amount of as well, and it's something you will need if you want to craft ballistic ammo. Now you will once again have to trust me with the results here, because there is no point in you watching me running around in West Tech for 5 minutes, so here's all the junk that I picked up, here are all the guns that I picked up, so let's scrap them and see how much steel we get. Now this of course isn't the only way to craft ammo in the game, but I personally found it to be a very easy and fast way to get a lot of ammo. So there we go, we scrapped all the guns, now we scrapped that one piece of armor that we found in the end we got 479 steel in one West Egg run. That's not bad for like a 5 minute run. And finally I also want to mention the converted munitions factory at the north of the Savage Divide, which is a workshop that will basically just print free ammo for you. All you have to do here is take over the workshop, build a generator or two, power up the terminal, go into the terminal and select what kind of ammo you want to print. Now this, just like Hemlock Halls, is taken on most adventure servers because it's just passive ammo generation and it's also somewhat limited in what kind of ammo it can make. It for example can make explosive ammo. And the ammo printer is also kinda slow. And that is pretty much it, so I thank you very much for watching as always guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and it was helpful and I will see you some other time. Bye bye.